dear students welcome all of you once again to environmental studies and disaster management paper which is a compulsory paper for semester 2 ba bsc university of kerala in this series of videos we are watching and listening to various modules and units of the paper environmental studies and disaster management and the prescribed test for this paper is ecoscapes in this video we will discuss the religion of the forest written by Rabindra Nath Tagore this part of the lesson is in the unit 1 of your textbook ecoscapes priyapetta vidyarthigale ee video ile nammal discuss cheyyanathu the religion of the forest rabindranath tagore ezhudhiya the religion of the forest aanu idu ecoscapes textbook ile first unit il ulla oru lesson aanu Before we get into the textbook, we will have a discussion about Rabindra Nath Tagore. You know, Rabindra Nath Tagore, a famous personality in India. Primarily, he is known as the author of the national anthem, Jana Gana Nana. Of India. We will uh, look into the profile of Rabindranath Tagore. He was born in 7th May 1861 in Calcutta. He was born in 7th May 1861 in Calcutta. about uh, Rabindranath Tagore's occupation. He was a poet, playwright, philosopher, composer, artist in writing. Pala Mekalagalil Prasithanayirunna Vekti Prafavamayirunna Rabindranath Tagore. Addeham Uru Kavi Ayrun, Valare, Prasithanaya Kavi Ayrun, Nadaga Rajaydavana, Nadaga Lidjitunda, Tatu Chindagarana, Sangidam Chitta Pedjitunda, Kalagar Nana, Edutugar Rana, Ingene Palla Mekalagal, Prasithanayrun, Vekti Prafaho Mairun, Jabitra Nata Tako. Rabindra Nath Tagore was awarded Nobel Prize in Literature in 1930. Rabindra Nath Tagore was awarded Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913. Ayrthi Tolayrthi Nobel Prize in Sahithi Nobel Prize in Addeham Arhanai Thurnu. We will go in depth into the life of Rabindranath Tagore. Uh, Rabindranath Tagore was born into a distinguished Bengali family in Calcutta, West Bengal, in 1861. So, Rabindranath Tagore, he was born in a distinguished Bengali family in Calcutta, West Bengal, in 1861 his father's name was the 
Maharshi Debendranath Tagore, a well-known Hindu reformer and mystic, and his mother was Srimadhi Sharada Devi. Debendranath Tagore and Pidava, Maharshi Debendranath Tagore, Adekatinde Madhava, Srimadhi Sharada Devi Mairu. Rebindranath Tagore and Pidava, Uru Samukhiga Parishkartav, Adavale Ratni Guru Makayaru. Tagore received his education at home. He was taught in Bengali with English lessons in the afternoon. He read the Bengali poets since his early age and himself began writing poetry himself by the age of eight. So he was educated at home and he was taught Bengali with English lessons in the afternoon. He studied his mother tongue Bengali and afternoons he studied English and he read many Bengali poets works and started writing poetry himself at the age of eight. Bengali Pasha Padikanodapum English Pashim Rebidanata Tagor than the Vital which then Padichu Adavale Bengali Kavigaluda Kavidagla Deham Vikan Varachurpatil Vikan Torangi Angane Etam Vaisa Ipuritikum Sunda Maim Kavidagal Ilda and Torangi Rebidanata Tagor Rabindranath Tagore did have a brief spell at St. Xavier's Jesuit School but found the conventional system of education uncongenial. So he had his, his schooling in St. Xavier's Jesuit School but the conventional system of education, the, con the conventional schooling system was not so comfortable for him. St. Xavier's Jesuit School in Thande Vithyafiyasam Repindranath Tagore Narathi Yengilu Annathe Reedhi Rula Vithyafiyasam Reedhi Glauda Dekhatan Yoji Kan Pati Illa His father wanted him to become a barrister and he was sent to England for his for this reason Thande Pidavane Adekhati Uru Vakkila Akana Mannam Adinde Aa Agregatane Purathu Adegate, England Lake, Padikana, Vidanamanum, the Alpirimon Diron. His earliest poetic collections, Manasi, was brought out in 1890, Chitra, 1895, Sonar Thari, 1895, and these poems were written in colloquial Bengali language. And he wanted to continue, or he wanted to emphasize his Bengali language, native Bengali language, instead of uh, choosing other languages. In 1901, he founded the famous Santi Niketan near Calcutta. This was designed to provide a traditional ashram and Western education. His ideals were simplicity of living and the cultivation of beauty. In August 1941, Sri Debindranath Tagore was moved from Shandiniketan Ashram to Calcutta for an operation. In the same year, in 1941, he passes away in the same house in which he was born. In. Hope all of you understood this video. Hope that you had a, an introduction a background discussion about the poet Rabindranath Tagore and in the next video we will get into the work until then goodbye to all